Marlins hosting the Brewers. The Brewers are minus 142 on the money line. The Marlins are plus 120. The over-under, seven and a half runs. The Brewers laying a run and a half on the run line are plus 118, meaning if you bet them that way, they must win by two or more. And the Marlins getting a run and a half on the run line are minus 142, meaning if you bet them that way and they win this game outright, you win. They lose by one, you win. Weather will not be a factor for this game because of the dome. Peralta pitched twice against the Marlins last year. Three innings, four runs, four earned. They lost 6-1. He struck out four. Six and a third, one run, one earned. They won 3-1. He struck out nine. Lazardo pitched twice against the Brewers last year. Five innings, three runs, two earned. They won 5-4. He struck out four. Five innings, six runs, six earned. They lost 12-4. He struck out five. Head-to-head, -head, they're 5-5 five and five against each other. The home team is 6-4. and four. The underdog is both 6-4 and four on the money line and 6-4 and four on the run line. There have been three one-run games in their last 10 meetings, the first game they played against each other this year. The over-under is 4-4-2, four, four, and two, and the under 7.5 runs is 6-4. and four. The Brewers are 3-2 and two in Peralta's last five starts. The over is hit in his last two. The over is 4-1 and one in his last five starts. Five innings pitched, five hits, 3.6 earned runs, 6.2 hits, 2.6 walks, 0.8 home runs his last outing he gave up two, 90.2 pitches, and then 17 and a half pitches per inning because that's something that you can bet on. Uh, DraftKings offers it. I don't know if uh, FanDuel does. Uh, the Marlins are 2-3 and three in Lazardo's last five starts. The over is hit in his last two starts. The over is 3-2 and two in his last five starts. Five and a third innings pitched, 5.4 hits, 3.2 earned runs, 5.8 strikeouts, two walks per game, 0.6 home runs, 92 pitches, and 17 pitches per inning. So essentially these guys are the identical pitcher. ERAs are right there. Strikeouts are almost right there. You, you heard the stat lines. The Brewers are 5-5 five and five in their last 10. The over is 6-4 and four in their last 10. They're 2-2 two and two in their last four. Six runs, 13 runs, five runs, and 12 runs. Four runs in a win, four runs in a loss, two runs in a loss, and then seven runs in a win. For the Marlins, they are six and four in their last 10, two and two in their last four. The over is seven and three in their last 10, and the over is four and one in their last five. 19 runs, 10 runs, five runs, 12 runs. 10 runs in a win, three runs in a loss, three runs in a win, and then five runs in a loss. I know that probably everyone's going to hammer Peralta tomorrow, and I took Lazardo the last time as an underdog against the Mets, and he came through for me, so I'm going to go for it again. I'm going to take the Marlins with the money line. I'm going to take the Marlins getting the runs, and I'm going to go over because both of these pitchers are about three and a half. So if they both give up what they're expected to, which is, let's call it three, you're almost right there with the over-under. These are just my picks. If you disagree, please go with your gut, and please bet responsibly.